Dome Shells has developed a unique form of construction called compound curved sandwich shell structures, which specifically address extremes of climate change. They offer superior structural security, sustainability, energy efficiency and harmonious lifestyle with numerous applications all over the world, including dome homes, villages and communities. Dome Shells is ready to license its technology in Australia and the world. Climate change and sustainability has become the biggest issue facing us all on our planet. A dome shell can withstand high cyclonic winds, massive earthquakes and snow loads. It is also incredibly energy efficient, staying warm in winter and cool in summer. Seven years research and development, funded by the Australian Research Council and in collaboration with Queensland University of Technology, dome shells comply with the Building Code of Australia and is expected to meet any international building code. Two technologies of sandwich shells together with the, with the compound curved nature of the, of the dome, you end up with a structure that's quite significantly stronger than what a comparatively weighted structure would be. And so you get quite significant benefits from a structural point of view, but also with the sandwich medium, you get quite good thermal properties as well. But perhaps an easier one to pick from the layperson's point of view is to think of an eggshell. An eggshell is a dome structure which isn't very strong if you actually put point loads on it, yet if you hold it correctly and apply the loads in a unique way, you get quite a substantial structure. Perhaps if I look at an example of the material that we've used for testing, you can see some of the advantages of the eggshell, if I can still use that, uh, where the outside is a fiberglass uh, layer on both sides, the inner is a core material. The combination of those provides this eggshell, which is the unique to the dome, and is really the secret to its structural success and for that matter its sound insulation, its heat insulation value is showing up in there as well. Lisa Fitzgerald lives in a dome shell home in Byron Bay. Keeps everything at a very comfortable temperature all year round, um, especially when everyone outside is complaining of a really uncomfortably cold winter and I haven't actually felt any of the um, discomfort because it's just been so lovely and comfortable in here. I have got a fan um, and I rarely had to use that as well. So I haven't felt, um, I certainly haven't felt a need for ceiling fans or for air conditioning. That's one thing I can say. So I actually don't have any problems with the damp that you get on the North Coast sometimes. You know, I've had clothes in cupboards in normal houses that have gotten quite mouldy from the damp air but in, the, in this particular sort of, um, in the dome, it's very uh, dry, so. I see a very bright future uh, for dome shells. I think through some of the test projects uh, which we've uh, put in the field and been able to uh, uh, confirm the theoretical behaviour with the in-field uh, behaviour there. Its uniqueness uh, from both the architectural point of view and of course the engineering point of view uh, make it a very exciting project. It's only been in the last 10 years that the computer age has hit us with the opportunity to analyse uh, the structure quite uh, significantly with finite element methods. I believe that the housing market has got a lot to look forward to uh, in relation to uh, dome shells bobbing up in all parts of Australia, whether it be hot, cold, snow, wind or earthquake. From 3 metres to 12 metres in diameter, dome shells have many possible uses. They can be standalone or linked together to form multiple dome homes. Family homes, backyard cabins, offices, studios and sleepouts, tourist cabins, mining town accommodation, Aboriginal housing, disaster relief and more. Today, crazy idea, you know, a bubble hobbit house, you know, like, oh yeah, so Byron. But so cute, so gorgeous and so beautiful to be in and something the world does need and I'm really impressed with the work that's gone in.